Uh, I've got the arm jacked up. I've taken some of the pins out. This is one of the pins that was worn. It goes in this bush here. Found the reason why the pin was worn. Where the grease nipple goes in, there was no hole through the bush for the grease to get through. So it's never been greased. Looking at the pin you can see see the wear there. Grease nipple on the other side which goes in there. That did have a hole through. And on the other end of the pin there's no wear on it. Also taken this pin out. And that's worn. And on that pin the grease nipple is underneath. Because there's awkward to get a grease gun on there, it's never been greased. So I need to take this one out now. But to get that one out, I've got to swing the machine this way a bit for the pin to drop down past this knuckle. Before I take the other pin out, I think I'm going to take these bushes out. Because once that pin's out, this is going to be um, floating around. So while it's still uh, stable, I think I'll get these bushes out. I'll have to make a bit of a, a tool to push those out with. I've made the tool to get the bushes out. And that'll fit in there. And I'll have a um, threaded rod through and press the bush out. I've taken this spacer tube out. That spacer tube was in the middle there. I've taken that out. And I've cut a piece of metal. Wedge that piece of metal there between the two castings so that while I'm pressing that bush out, I'm not straining that that casting. Right, I've got the bush moving. Took a bit of moving to start with. You can see it coming through there. going to be easy now. Yeah, that's coming up. Uh, got the bush out. You can see inside the bush housing there's a groove around the middle there. That's for the grease to go around. So the hole in the bush doesn't really have to be opposite the grease nibble. But because it's got full of crap, the grease hasn't been able to get round. So that's the bush that's come out.
and the middle part of the bush around there. You can feel where it's got pressed into that into that groove. So that's why it was difficult to get the booth, uh, the bush to move in the first place. Uh, taking the bush out on the other side. Um, it isn't worn too badly, but it'd be silly to leave it in after going this far. Uh, that's both bushes out. The other one came out a lot easier. You can see there's grease inside that bush housing. That's the second one to come out. And now I need to get this pivot out of here. So I'll have to um, suspend this king post on something. And when that bush comes out, this is going to be floating around. This is in the way, so this will be coming out as well. I've got the other pin out. Came out quite easily, that did. Just one bolt here goes straight through the pin. You take that out and it tapped out with a, a little drift. That's the pin. Here's the grease nipple in the, in the end. And the pin goes in there, the grease nipple's at the top on that one. And that's the groove for the grease around the pin. Full of crap. Pins worn a bit. So now I need to move this king post away so I can get the bushes out of here. There'd be a bronze bush in there. Another one in here. So I'll suspend the king post, swing it to one side, and I should be able to get to those bushes. Got the king post suspended, got it moved across. I pressed these two bushes out. Those are the bushes. There was also a, a plastic shim on here, made of some sort of nylon. So I've got that all cleaned up, ready for the new bushes to go back in. I've also pressed the bush out of here. It wasn't worn but it was full of crap. That's all the pins and bushes ready for the king post. New grease nipples. Starting to fit these new bushes. I'm going to press that one into there. This is a tool I made to take the old ones out, so that'll um, 
press the new one in. Put a 20 mil bolt through there. Plate underneath. And pull it in. got those two bushes fitted. Now I'll get this king post lined up and get the uh, new pivot pins in. There's also a new shim to go on there. Got those two new pins in and a new shim. It uh, looks like some sort of nylon. It's 1.5 mil thick. I've also got the two new bushes in here. I've made sure the one of the holes in the bushes opposite the grease nipples. Now I've got the new pivot pin in. The space between the two bushes. Now I need to get this bush pressed in here and the, the new pivot pin in. This is the pin that needs a slot in it for that plate to locate into. So that's the next job, put the slot in the, in the pin. Got that pin and bush back in, all greased up. So that's all the pins done now on the arm. Got one more pin to do on the back of this ram. This one down here. The bottom end of that pin comes into this housing and the bottom of the pin is seized in there. So I'm going to have to make a special tool to press that out 